Lorenzo Bull. Born on March 21, 1819, the eldest son of Lorenzo and Elizabeth Goodwin Bull Sr., Lorenzo Bull Jr. arrived in Quincy in April of 1833. He was 14. In 1845, Bull and his brother Charles opened a retail store, L and C.H. Bull Hardware. He didn't start out to be a banker, but uh, he uh, came into the retail business at a time when everything was in flux, uh, including the banks. Uh, there was no FDIC insurance. Uh, the whole matter depended on how much people trusted another person to, to hold on to their money. And uh, because the main bank in Quincy had failed, uh, people were frightened about where to put their money. Everybody trusted Lorenzo Bull. He was a person that uh, they had great faith in, so he said, I'll keep your deposits in the back room and uh, they'll be safe. By this time, his brother Charles Bull had joined him in the merchandise business that they had. After a while, they decided, you know, this banking's a pretty good thing. The brothers opened the L and C.H. Bull Merchants and Farmers National Bank at the southwest corner of Fifth and Main Streets. They developed that business into the most successful banking house in the state outside of Chicago. Renamed the State Savings Loan and Trust Company, the bank was first capitalized at $300,000. It grew under Bull's leadership to more than $3.5 million in deposits by 1905. The bank was only one of Bull's active interests. There are four prominent things that Lorenzo Bull was involved in, all of which are so important for a community to grow. I mean, he was a great visionary, and everything he did, he always left it better than he found it. So he organized the banking business in Quincy and really got that moving. The next thing was to have good water. Uh, this ver very small uh, town that he came to, which was really an outpost to begin with, um, everybody had a cistern in small towns, but it was not enough water, and there was problems of it being uh, sanitary. And so he started himself a waterworks system for the city of Quincy, owned it himself, ran it for a number of years besides his banking activities, and then ultimately sold it to the city years later for what he put in the money, so he didn't make any profit on it. He turned it over to the city, and it's now the Quincy Waterworks. Um, the third thing that was important was transportation. Now, there weren't buses in town. There were no cars in town. How did people get around? He knew that this was very important. He helped organize the trolley system, and for 20 years was president of the Quincy Trolley System. And it was a well-organized system of trolleys to get people around town. Lastly, you got to get people in town, you got to get people out of town. And so he went to work to start a railroad system. Um, there was a railroad from Galesburg to Chicago, but no railroad to Quincy. He organized and started the railroad system that carried a train to Galesburg, which hooked up and went on to Chicago. The, be the beginning of what we know now as Amtrak. That's where it started, was with Lorenzo Bull. So these are the four critical issues to grow a town, and he was involved in every one of them, plus many other things he did in the charitable areas. So he definitely was Quincy's most influ influential businessman that I think Quincy's ever had. Bull also was one of the founders of the Public Library, the captain of the Volunteer Fire Department, promoted the first telegraph line in Quincy, and was influential in the development of the park system. It was estimated that he donated almost a half million dollars to charitable causes during his lifetime. Bull also left a legacy of prominent architecture in Quincy. His bank building at 428 Main, the original public library at 332 Main, and his home at 1555 Main all are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. I think brought his concerns for architecture with him because there's a lot of Italianate architecture in Hartford. And as far as I can tell, this is the earliest Italianate building still standing in Quincy. Bull married Margaret Benedict on January 18, 1844. The couple had six children. He died November 2nd, 1905. Highly respected person, highly respected for his talents, uh, his interest in people, his efforts to try to improve. Everything Lorenzo 
turned out to be better than he found it.